How are you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. Let me turn the volume down here. We're back in my workshop. It's 7.27 in the morning, and um, right now, I can't get my golf cart to go. Okay, there we go. Whoa, whoa, watch out. I invariably bust my knees. <laughs> Trying to use this thing anyway. We're down in my workshop and we've got my Sajin ATS 909X. I think that's the number, but you, you recognize it. It's one of my favorite radios. And we're going to try to test live, um, opposed to using the meter yesterday, um, to see what these are this antenna will do now this antenna is the in fed antenna uh, that I was sent to me by a gentleman that sell these sell these on eBay you can go back to my previous videos I've got about two or three videos on this particular antenna and uh, it it's 50 feet of long wire a little box that has a transformer in it with pickoffs so that you get the impedance matching a little better. And unfortunately, as I mentioned in the previous show, I've got uh, kind of a kludge here. I've got adapters and adapters and adapters. Now this is an example of where you don't want to set up your radio and your antenna. You don't want to have all these adapters. but in order to get this review done, I needed to kind of throw things together, and uh, well, I didn't have to. I could have spent, you know, a couple of weeks making adapters. I'm not very good anymore at making adapters. But um, if you go back to my previous show, I describe all the adapters that uh, I'm using at this present time. Plus, I'm using this not so high quality feed line to come from the switch to the radio and then I have to use another adapter to go in the radio. Now what I've done is I've added which I had in the last video I've added a ground wire to this setup here because since the radio is operating on batteries there's no earth return so I've added one and we can play with that today and see if it makes that much difference. So we're set up. What you were hearing is WWV on 5 megahertz, which is, uh, that's the frequency that I get WWV on the best in the morning. Excuse me, I had to get a drink. My th throat's kind of dry. Um, and then as the day progresses, it's stronger in higher frequencies, 10 megahertz, and then finally 15 megahertz in the afternoon, and then it starts coming back down. So there's 5 megahertz, and I can try 10 megahertz. Turn the volume back up. Let's see, do I want to zoom in? Yeah, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see the radio a little better. Yeah, you still can't see the display. You have to trust me. It's starting to fade already. I can see it's 7.30. And we'll try the two antennas. The antenna it's on right now is the in-fed antenna that was sent to me. Okay, we're going to switch to the next antenna that I'm going to compare it against. Well, kind of compare it against. And there's so many different variables here. The, the antennas are in different locations. They're pointing in different directions. They got different coax cable bringing them in. Lots of differences. So keep that in mind. Okay, we're going to switch now from the in-fed to my common variety long wire antenna that's fed through coax cable. So here we go. I'm kind of losing WWV already. 
about the same audio sound. The S meter right now is between five and seven bars on this S meter. Did seem like the noise picked up. Background noise. Let me go back to the infed. Okay, it's it's a little higher. It's um, about six to eight on the S meter. If I shut up for a minute, you can listen to the radio itself. Okay, I'm going to switch back to the other antenna, which is just my garden variety that I made. And let's see if the noise level goes up. Didn't notice it there. Back. About the same. As, as far as the audio, the it's starting to fade in and out. So let's go to 10 megahertz. See how it's doing. Wasn't doing too good earlier. Okay, nothing. I can barely hear it. I'm on the infed. Lots of noise. It's about five to six bars, but mostly noise. I go to my antenna. About the same. Go back. I feel like I'm an eye doctor. Number one or number two? Number three or number four? Sorry about that. Just get carried away sometimes. Just for the heck of it, we'll try 15 megahertz, which is probably not very good this time of day. Ooh, lots of noise. That's on the infed. That's on mine. No difference. Could be the lights. Really noisy. But it's only three bars. So that actual noise may be on those other frequencies. It's just that the signal was strong enough that it was overriding that noise. So I'm, I'm getting noise from somewhere. It could be my computer, could be the lights. Let me turn the monitor off. Nope, that's not it. We'll go one step more. And I'm going to shut the computer off. And the monitor. Okay, the computer's going down. Shutting down, shutting down, shutting down. Yep, that was it, the computer. As soon as that computer shut off, that noise went away. So, that's saying that this kludge I've got here is not a very good setup. It's still picking up noise. Now, one thing I could do is, since we've kind of done an A-B test there between my uh, random wire antenna and the infed, they seem to be about the same. We could take the switch out of the loop, remove some of these connectors, and see if I still get the noise. We'll do that in a few minutes. Again, this is going to be another one of those long videos. Okay, so let's try tuning the bands. Uh, let's go down. This time of day, the lower frequencies are better. So let's go to the 7 megahertz amateur radio band. Start there. And we're on, right now we're on the infed. Some CW. Okay, we'll switch to single sideband. Spanish. Okay, right this second. It's well, you stop talking. It's about 
four bars on the infed. Now, not as good. It's only, well, it's three to four bars, but, and I notice this slightly, and I notice it a lot now that I've turned the computer off, the, my antenna has a lot of noise on it. I don't know if that's the right way to say that, but this, when I'm using my antenna, which is just a random wire, no um, inductor or anything to reduce the noise, it's got a lot of noise on it, and the signal is slightly lower. So let me switch back, turn the volume up. See the noise go down? And the signal went up. Really tell it on that frequency. So let's go on up the band. Change the step. Let's go up. Uh, hmm. Let's go up to nine megahertz. That's my favorite band, which is um, kind of the start of 31 meters. Nine point two six five. Pretty weak. I'm on the infed. I'm gonna switch to my antenna. About the same on that frequency. I really want to be a, a catalyst for 9.580. Nine social change that look at the bigger macro narrative and also the micro moment connection. That's full scale, full scale yeah. on the infed. My antenna back. About the same. Infed is slightly better. Just a tad. And of course, there's so many variables. Like I say, I got different cables. Uh, the infed has a bunch of adapters to get the signal down from the antenna to my switch box here. Um, so where, where my antenna has no adapters. It's PL259 at the antenna end and PL259 at the switch end. So there's no um, adapters causing any kind of attenuation. Not as important on receive as transmit, but it still, you know, can add to the attenuation of the antenna. So I'm going to, at this point, since we're quite a few minutes into the uh, recording, I'm going to bypass this and hook the infed directly to the radio, but I'm going to choose a different station. This one is way too strong, so I probably won't see any improvement. Let's go back down to 5 megahertz. It's almost completely faded now. So let's see if doing that, getting rid of some of these um, adapters and the switch itself and see if that improves things. So let me take, let me take this connector off. Okay, so that's going to eliminate the switch, and I'll, I've still got a bunch of adapters, even if I do this. So I am only um, eliminating the switch and the short cable I had coming from the switch to the radio. That's all I'm eliminating. I don't know if it shows on camera, but I got out one 
two adapters and then I go into this um, F-type cable which is not 50 ohms of course and so we still have a lot of attenuation. I've got to be careful here not put too much stress on this connector still putting a lot of stress on that connector I think this the S meter went up now I lost my ground so let's bring that over see if that makes any difference doesn't make a lot of difference but it does seem to make some difference so let me get this out of here before I break something uh, so I can see from my basic antenna which is just a long wire with some coax feed in oh excuse me um, versus this infed antenna that was sent to me and you can go back to my previous videos and read about or view watch exactly what that is because um, I show you some close-ups of it and its construction and keep in mind the my antenna doesn't have any adapters in the line where this one has one two on this end actually three right now it's three because I'm using this adapter that goes to the radio so when it when it was hooked up to the switch and I was comparing the two antennas it had one two adapters going into the switch coming out of the switch through another cable going through another adapter this one here on this end and up at the other end I have one adapter going from the B and C connector on the antenna box to this F-type cable so you would think there would be more attenuation on this antenna than there is on my antenna so that probably equates to all things being equal and nothing's equal in this setup and that this this infed antenna is not slightly better but appreciably better than my setup although my setup is working pretty good so the important things that I was trying to point out about this long discussion about cables and everything this is not the proper setup you need to build the correct cable and um, so I what I need for this antenna since the the little box that has the transformer in it, in it has a B and C connector I need a cable 50 ohm cable with a B and C connector up at that end at the antenna and a PL259 at this end even now even if I'm going to use this radio instead of a 259 because I still would have to use adapter is this adapter right here so eliminating all these connections again it's not as important when you're talking about receive as it does transmit so anyway that's the review I think I'm finished reviewing that infed antenna I'll put another link in the description of where you can buy this thanks the gentleman for sending me that antenna for a review I really appreciate it and thank you for watching if you enjoyed the show please give me a thumbs up bye bye